Gosh, when you said this to me, Ricky, I'm like, yes. This makes so much sense. Yeah, and I, I heard this from my fiance. He was not super tapped in, so I I heard this, and I was like, she wouldn't even know Rick Pitino. Well, I, I gave it away. She wouldn't even know this guy's name. You know, I here's ruined the it. thing. <laughs> I, I don't mind it, though. Rick Pitino coming into FAU, and I don't even know, like, no one's paying attention to FAU's basketball no. program. I mean, you know, and they've got— res- I keep forgetting that it's there. Well, you know, and they're building— I mean, with uh, Pat Chun, who was the old athletic director that just took off, yeah, they really have a lot of their sports on solid ground. I, probably not a lot of people really follow, but everybody has to be aware of Lane Kiffin, the effect the Lane train had on FAU football this year, going 11-3. and three. A gigantic effect. You likely know that FAU baseball is solidly one of the top 20 programs almost year in and year out. Yeah, they've been, they've been good for a really long time, too. Really solid. Yeah. The softball program is they're capable of going in and beating a top team like the Florida Gators Mm -hmm. have done that. So you've got about everything that is right there, competitive nationally, something you can talk about, something that you can have pride in, except for the FAU basketball program, which is just god-awful. It's just It's been atrocious, and it's been bad for a long time. They just got done firing the old coach, Michael Curry. He's gone. They were 12-19 and this season, lost in the first round of Conference USA tournament to UAB. In his four seasons, he went 39-84. and 84. Oh, that's a great awful. record. Just awful. How, how long was he there? He was there four seasons. He went four seasons? Yeah, it's been four seasons. It's been a long time since there's anything you could be excited wow. about when it comes to Al's basketball. Mm-hmm. I mean, they haven't played in the NCAA tournament since 2002. That was with Sidney Green. They haven't had a winning season since going 21-11 in 2011. They qualified for the NIT under Mike Jarvis that year. So here they are, FAU, men's basketball, the one thing they're really trying to look for something on. Yeah. Rick Pitino, yes. For any other school, yeah, you'd be like, what would you be, what are you doing? But we're talking about what? One of only two coaches that has taken three teams to the Final Four? Yeah. The guy is 65. As I learned choking down hot wings the other week. You're right. Yes. He's got a couple homes. I know he just put them on the market in South Florida, but he's very familiar with the area. It's true. He's got a connection already to the area. Now, the big problem with Rick Pitino. Uh, The brothel thing? Well, the the pay-for-play and future sanctions. So you hire a coach, and all of a sudden, boom, day one, we're going to slap him with all these, you know, he's not going to be able to coach. You know, who knows? He might get pff, never coaching again kind of thing. And he's 65. I mean, you're not going to sit there and be like, hey, we'll wait for you for five years. No, nah, he's going to be 70. So Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah. But, I mean, you saw what Schnellenberger late in his career did. Let's say Patino can walk away from this completely unscathed. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know that he would. It's going to be kind of hard I to. I don't know that he would. But let's say Rick Patino walks away. From all of the mess that happened at Louisville, and there was probably scandal. They were probably paying hookers. They were probably paying players. I just just love how hookers come into this. They were probably just doing everything awful that you can possibly do at at one basketball program. Mm -hmm. Just think of how many hookers you could pay in Boca. That's a lot. If you think about it, if you just go around the town center mall area alone. I got to tell you, the hookers, I don't know from experience, but they have to be better than the hookers in Louisville, in Kentucky. I mean... uh, uh, yeah. South Florida hookers got to be better than a Kentucky hooker. I mean, it's only like a you know fifty minute drive down to Miami. It's not, it's not that, bad. It's not that bad. And Fort Lauderdale still, that's even closer. You can find some people down there. Delray Beach. You bring in the Rick Pitino effect, a guy who's known to make it fun mm-hmm. to play for. Yep. And, and then you throw Meisner Park into the uh, situation. They're going to do better. Listen. They're going to do better than what they've done the last four years right away.